Hello everyone, Matt Hoots here with Sawhorse. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite products that I like to use and specify on our job sites. Uh, one of them is the Zip System made by Huber. So let's talk a little bit about the Zip System itself and some of the things that we are, we're seeing here. Now, our foundation got built out a few inches beyond where we wanted it to be, so it, we had, um, you know, they're over ambitious, they want to make the, the, the plans a little bit larger. Unfortunately with that, now we've got this flashing detail that we have to, 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 to deal with. Uh, we're not going to leave it this way, we're actually what we're going to do is create a piece of flashing with drip edge that seals to the zip wall, goes over the foundation wall, that way water doesn't sit on this sill plate right here and gets out of the system. We're doing that before we install the masonry. Something else with the zip system, again, this system works really well if all the nails are flush. Now, they, they call it zip 2.0, but they also, there, there's many different um, uh, uh, names for it, but we've got this zip liquid flash. Uh, what we're gonna do on all these holes is use this liquid flash, um, especially on the nails that were overdriven. These nails need to be flushed. If they're overdriven, water can basically penetrate this membrane that can get into the system. We want to make sure that each of these are sealed properly and also where the zip system meets the foundation um, on the different, different areas, we want to make sure that we don't see any raw wood. Because what happens is this water goes down this drainage plane and it's going to find the, 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 the raw edge of this Let's, let's call it an OSB, even though it's not, it's a little bit better than a regular OSB. Let's call it OSB, it's gonna find this edge and eventually water's going to wick into it. And especially if it's a raw cut, it's going to fail over time. So that's why you want to use either a sealant. Um, Zip System makes their own sealant called uh, Zip System Liquid Flash. This works really well along that. And you also wanna make sure that if you don't have any of those and, it, and it's just going down the foundation, you can also install kickout flashing at the bottom of this. So if you don't have the liquid flash or the sealant, you can put some mechanical fat, um, flashing down here and use the zip, the, the, the zip tape on top of that and that'll, that'll allow the water to go down this plane and kick out so it's not going into the framing system. Again, all this is to keep water out of the structural framing system because the framing system is not pressure treated. It's, it's, it's going to rot and it's going to cause additional moisture issues on the interior and affect some of the interior finishes that you have. Let's talk about some of the things that I saw in this particular inspection. One of the things we noticed that a few of the nails are overdriven. Uh, you want to make sure that these are sealed up properly, but also you put another fastener right next to it. I also noticed that some of the sheathing did not cover the bottom plate all the way, so we want to make sure that gets sealed up. Some of this tape, the tape only works well if it has proper coverage all the way across. Other penetrations, such as hose bibs and wires, need to be sealed up. And you can either use zip flex tape or you can use the zip uh, regular tape or you can use the zip liquid flash. And last but not least, make sure that you do see, make sure around the doors and windows have all the tape and sealant around them so water doesn't get in through those openings. So here are a couple of checklists that we got from our Huber rep. It's in both English and Spanish and there's a link provided in the description below for your convenience. Thanks again for watching this video from Sawhorse TV. Uh, we've loaded up some suggested videos and also some suggested playlists. And if you have not already, we appreciate you subscribing to our channel so you get notifications for future episodes. See you next time.